So it's March 2022 and we're at one of our permanent plots in at Woodlands Trail, sort of um, far in the back end of Woodlands Trail. And uh, we see a lot of young, looks like maybe two or three, like mostly four year old tallow trees. And we have, we've also noticed a few other larger tallow and so there's been, looks like there is a resurgence or an ongoing flush. flush of tallow, which may also be associated with sort of the hurricane disturb or storm disturbance that they've been having. Open canopy. Oh, I was, just, I was done. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> Excellent. All right, good. Tallow bad. <laughs> we have one. We went tallow. Bye bye. Bye bye, tallow. This is just a nice shot of uh, this is our permanent array plot 21. And just essentially all these stems you're seeing are, uh, are tallow uh, that are just starting to leaf out here. So it's a, it's a veritable forest of. A uh, very uh, thin, densely packed, um, you know, up and down, almost almost bamboo-y like um, uh, 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 a structure where it's it's hard to navigate through. Um, and these guys, most of these guys, are on the order of of double head height or so or more, and so that looks like uh, um, several years with the growth, at least at least two or three years with the growth. Um, and, uh, again, with the loss of canopy with Hurricane Ida, these guys are primed to, to grow really well, uh, set a lot of seed and, and spread further if we don't herbicide this area soon. Here's a good example of another root ball that just fell. This is just outside plot 15, permanent plot 15. So John's standing on that sucker. And so this guy's ripped up and the amount of soil that's come out of the ground is probably about a meter. And so this, this is great habitat for uh, critters that need sort of mud waller and all that kind of stuff. But, um, but uh, surrounded by blackberry, it's not, it's, it's bad for the tree canopy in the forest itself. So. Every once in a while, so a tree like this falling down is good, but um, as far as forest health, this is an indicator of, of a stressed system. And uh, all these roots should be in the ground, holding the soil, not up in the air, uh, drying out. So there you go.